So I've got a friend named Kevin Howard that teaches after school science classes to elementary school kids and he gave me an interesting challenge. Can you make a bridge with 12 popsicle sticks that goes over eight fingers, not touching them, and uses no fasteners? So let's give it a try. Maybe we can make some sort of levered thing where I stack some on one side, do the same on the other, get some support in the middle. Uh, that is not going to fit my fingers. To get higher, maybe I could stack them on their sides. This could take a while. Do this. That. Oh. What else? What else? Okay, it looks like I have something that might. Whoa. Oh. All right, we've got two hands under, eight fingers, no contact, but is this actually a useful bridge at all? Nope. Not so much. This could actually support weight. The problem is my hands are wider than one popsicle stick. Build up some mass. I could really use some glue right now. Okay, so the solution is something called a Da Vinci bridge. And here's how you do it. Start with an H, and then we're going to add another H. First add another cross beam, and then pick up the whole structure with the new cross beam and slip in two new legs. So that's one leg. And there's the second leg. As I push these cross beams together, you can start to see how our bridge is going to work. To continue, you just keep adding more and more H's. So put a new cross beam under there. Then very carefully pick the whole structure up with the new cross beam and slide in two new legs, just as we did before. Now you can see we've gotten a little higher. I usually try and straighten everything out in between each addition of a new H, just to make sure none of the sticks are on the edge of falling out. So we're at nine popsicle sticks now, and I'll add one more H. So again, put a new cross beam in, and then carefully pick up the whole structure and slide in the final two legs. So if you look online, there's all these videos of people building this same design but using larger pieces of wood and actually walking across it. The neat thing about this is that unlike my previous attempts, the more weight there is, the more friction there is holding the sticks in place. So it actually gets a little more stable as we load it down. So I've got about four dollars of quarters on there and I can still fit eight fingers under there. The story goes that Da Vinci designed the bridge for soldiers that needed a very portable solution that they could set up and take down without requiring a lot of materials to take along. This portability also helps out Kevin with this table that he takes to fairs and festivals that's based on the same design. One note is that he's added notches in the wood to make assembly a little bit easier. So this is one of the challenges Kevin gives in his workshops where he exposes elementary and middle school kids to stuff like robotics, fuel cells, rockets, electronics, and all kinds of other stuff I wish I had gotten to play with at that age. You can find out more about him and his workshops at his website, launch-zone.com.